Hello everyone, welcome to Clinical Pediatrics by Dr. Anand and today let's discuss this sign today. Could you elicit any sign in this patient? Anyone? So yes, number one, this is a CNX examination. Number two, we are doing grading of deep tendon reflexes. Number three, this is known as, what do you call it, anyone? The one, this is known as is clonus. What's happening? The muscle that has been stretched goes into clonic contractions until the stretch is relieved. So basically this is most commonly seen with knee or ankle jerks. So most importantly how do you do it? The child lies supine and relaxed with hips flexed with knees and ankle in moderate flexion. So remember support the child's leg with one hand under the knee, grasp the foot from below and quickly dorsiflex the foot. So what will happen? In clonus, there is a series of alternating contractions. If sustained means more than five repeated contractions, it indicates the the marked degree of reflex hyperexcitability and indicates an upper underlying upper motor neuron lesion so that's so that's all about clonus very important guys you should need to know okay so the, we have grading of deep tendon reflexes zero is absent one plus is present but diminished plus two is normal reflex plus three is brisk and plus four is clonus thank you